When you think about it, our news today, our news is so dominated by President Trump uh, that it's easy to forget there's an entire world with plenty of news that we're probably missing out on because everything's Trump, Trump, Trump. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, here to help us sort through it, all the way from India, is our friend comedian Veer Das. Veer! <laughs> Colin, thank you for having me. Veer, we're very excited to have you here. So, Veer, you're going to take us through the news from the rest of the world. Yes. You very generously given me five minutes to talk about seven billion people. Yeah, actually, <laughs> now it, it's actually now four minutes and 30 seconds. So we got Hello, America! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the rest of the world. It's a big place. There's a lot of people out there that you have yet to meet. Like, like take my country. I'm from India. We have 1.3 billion people. That's like four Americas. <laughs> Without Florida, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so Veer, uh, what's the latest from India? What's going Our on? Our space program, it's amazing. It's like NASA with less Indians. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, India launched 104 satellites in a single mission. Fun fact, 96 of them were American satellites. So see, it's not just taxis and Ubers. Even your satellites can't get from place to place without an Indian driver. <laughs> oh, okay. In fairness, though, Veer, the relationship is probably more complex. No, it isn't. Africa, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Africa's doing amazing things. Africa is sitting on 30% of the world's natural resources. In 40 years, Africa is, being, is gonna be the largest exporter of diamonds, salt, oil, and gold. Do you know what that means? It means black people may or may not be attending the Oscars, but they will be manufacturing them. <laughs> wow, that, that's, that's quite a statement, dear. Dictatorship! Yeah. Hey, America, you know how sometimes you feel like you're living under a dictatorship where your leader's just making irrational decisions, yeah? Well, guess what? So do these countries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute, dear. That's supposed to make us feel better. Yes. You're not alone, America. Gabon is with you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't help that Gabon is with us. All right, here's something that'll make you feel better. The world has 7.3 billion people. Twitter has only 300 million active monthly users. So every time Donald Trump tweets something like truly insane, 97% of the world hasn't read that shit. <laughs> Relax, we don't know. To us, Rocket Man is still a song, and Crooked Hillary is just a bridge in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, wait a minute. What about Canada? What's happening there? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. It's perfect. <laughs> that's, that's annoying, actually. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Catalonia, ladies and gentlemen, it's a country, not a lady. They're going solo. They're leaving Spain to form their own country. I'm calling it Spexit. Okay. <laughs> Specs it, like Brexit, uh, do you think Specs it will happen before Brexit? Absolutely. I'm Indian. If there's one thing we can say about the British, they take forever to leave a country. <laughs> uh, okay, I hate to break it to you, but you guys have got two minutes, 15 seconds. I'm sorry, is my planet getting in the way of your OxyClean commercial? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pay the rent somehow, Japan! okay? Japan, Japanese PM Shinzo Abe just won the elections with a landslide victory. And he's promised to deal with North Korea himself. So here's the good news. Japan is now your ally. I'm gonna break this down. There's two teams. It's like the Olympics, but everybody dies. Now, there's <laughs> Team Donald, which is the USA, Japan, and South Korea. That's 0.5 billion people. Versus Team Un, who are trying to destroy your democracy, which has North Korea, China, and Russia. That's 1.5 billion people. Wait a minute, it sounds like our side, we're a billion people short. Yeah. And you know who happens to have a billion people? <laughs> so now would be a really good time to apologize for Apu. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't create that character, I just wrote for him, okay? <laughs> One last thing, Conan, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. America has 45 million immigrants, but each year, 75 million tourists from the rest of the world visit America. So if you see somebody just yelling at a foreigner on the street, just go back to your own damn country, chances are, he's going to. <laughs> 
We don't want your jobs. We just want to see Disneyland and destroy your democracy. <laughs> Nicely done.